Hi folks, Tim here again from High End Cheap Tech, and today we're going to go a little more in depth into that uh, uh, shot on app. I'm going to pop up a quick screenshot I took of it, of the uh, that I took with the Alcatel 7 this morning, and then we're going to go to the intro right now, uh, and we'll go from there. So hi folks, one more time, uh, we're back, uh, we're going to take a look here once again, I'm going to show you uh, a picture of the interface that you get when you fire this thing up, and you got all kinds of settings in there, you know, you can adjust your, uh, I snapped this in the Alcatel just a few minutes ago, uh, you can set your logo, yeah. uh, device name and then on, on under shot by you put you can put your name in there you can turn on the time and date stamp or you can remove it and then you can go down to advanced and you can pick your font color what you want or you can position it in any corner you want uh, which is pretty cool uh, and uh, if you don't want to use it you just you'll know, kill it and uh, you know, maybe you don't want a watermark on. Now, I know a lot of phones have a built-in watermark, but that's only going to give credit to the company. You might want your name on it if you run a channel, obviously. So let's uh, take another screenshot look here uh, that I shot in the Alcatel. And I, I just use the white, but you can change that to green and blue and red and any color you want. Uh, maybe you want it a little more subtle. You know, just to have it, there's a watermark. Just so folks know who took the picture. And uh, it is a pretty cool app. It's loaded with bloatware. I mean loaded. Uh, not bloatware, but ads. It is you got to be very careful what you click on. You know, just make sure you stick to the app settings. And then once you get it set up, there's a little camera button right on it. You can use that to go straight to your camera, and bam. And it'll work with open camera, too. So, And it'll actually ask you if you have open camera on there. Do you want to use open camera, or do you want to use the built-in camera? Uh, so maybe on some shots you don't want a watermark, and you would use one camera on the other... Uh, you would use the watermark. Hi folks, Tim here just cutting in. Quick message about TubeBuddy.com as you will see coming up on the screen right now. TubeBuddy is the premier tool for helping you edit and maintain your presence as a creator on YouTube. It integrates flawlessly. If you have a free version, uh, it goes right into your browser and you use it as you're you know, doing your editing. And, uh, and uploading and it, it's an excellent tool uh, as far as prices go the price is coming up on the screen um, if you get the free version a lot of times they'll offer you uh, they'll make you an offer they made me an offer and I'm only paying four dollars and fifty cents a month so check it out at the link that you're gonna see on the screen and at the link below uh, www.tubebuddy.com forward slash high end cheap tech. And now let's get back to that video we were doing. Hey folks, I'm back. Sorry we had to do the TubeBuddy ad, but you know, we need more subscribers. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel uh, uh, and hit the notification bell. It's very cool. Uh, we put up, you know. New videos, I try to do them um, almost every day, but I don't get to it. Some, some days I just get home from work and I'm like, yeah, the hell with this crap. So, all that being said, uh, let's go back to what we were talking about, which was the uh, uh, shot on app. 
Uh, it does have one more little con. And it's not that big a con. Uh, you get 50 stamps, as they call it. You know, and it'll say stamp successfully added. And then when the counter runs out, it won't do anymore. Now, what you have to do, long before you get there, just hit the damn button, you know, to reset the counter. And it'll make you watch a short video ad. Not a big deal. It's just an ad. It won't make you install a game or do any of that. Uh, and uh, that'll be that. And it'll reset back to 50. That's a pretty minor con. I can live with that. Uh, you know, in trade-off for uh, getting my high-end Jeep deck down in the corner. So, uh, make sure to check the description below for all the links. Uh, for the, I'll have a link in there for the Mi A2, the phone we're shooting on. The version tech headset here, the Impulse selfie stick, which is one of the best investments I ever made. I love their little remote for, you know, turning the videos on and off as far as recording goes. It's just super. So we're going to try to get this out there. So check the description below as usual. Use those links. Those help us out. And uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And on that note, I want to say thanks for watching. Probably come back some a little later just to talk about the Mi A3 and why it's really worth your money, even though it does only have a 720 display. You know, we're going to kind of apply a little common sense out there to folks who must have 1080, must have a minimum, must have 4K display. Do you really need it? It's a budget phone. Do you need it? That's the question. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. And I am about to get vaporized.